donated more than $1,000 in just the first hour of our Sun Prairie Strong Telethon. That's $1,000 going directly to that community a week after the deadly explosion there. Yeah, Josh Spreider is live in downtown Sun Prairie this morning where the cleanup continues. He is joined by Sun Prairie's police chief this morning. Josh, good morning. Good morning. Those recovery efforts are still in their early stages, and one of the guys that has been going running and gunning since the very beginning is Sun Prairie Police Chief Pat Anhalt. And Chief, so thanks so much for joining us here this morning. Well, good morning. Thank you for having me on, and thank you for all your support. You know, talking a little bit about that support, you know, you take a look behind you right now. What are some of the reactions that you're still feeling? I mean, one week later, and you look down there, and I mean, what are your thoughts? Yeah. Well. I've been around Sun Prairie for almost 50 years and I've been policing this community for about 25 years and I can't think of a tougher day th than we had last Tuesday and I also at the same time can't think of a more impressive response I've ever seen in my career. A public safety response, a community response, school district response, civic organization response, faith-based group response, individual community member response, just overwhelming. I mean, that impact, you look down downtown right now, and there's a lot of places that are still boarded up. You can still see the rubble down there. I mean, the impact that's been on this community, it's, it's lasting. Well, Maine and Bristol is the crossroads of Sun Prairie. And growing up here, I've been through this intersection a million times on my bike, on patrol, with my family. And I look around, and I remember delivering papers a block away. I went to the eye doctor and the barber uh, in the professional building and it's uh, disbelief for me every time I come down here. Obviously that first day was a lot of shock but you were saying a little bit earlier to me that you couldn't believe the people stepping forward even within, within those first few minutes after things had happened. Right away I was at our command post location and I spent a little time in our command vehicle and I exited the command vehicle and I could not imagine or, or could not believe the amount of stuff. It, it felt like it was in Costco. Pallets of water and snacks and just people just showing up saying what can I do, where do you need me? In that time of crisis, I mean, what does that mean for you? Because obviously there's a million things going through your head. What is something as simple as people coming forward like that to do for you, and as, especially the other public officials here in town? Uh, I mean, it's just an incredible sense of uh, security. It's uh, a, a safety blanket for us in the sense that we're trying to do our thing and then we know that people are out there thinking of us and having our back. Um, it's, as you can imagine, chaos, but uh, just scrolling through my phone the, the day of and seeing all the notes from you know, my colleagues from around Dane County and community members and friends and family saying, you know, keep up the good work. We're here for you when uh, you need us and that sort of thing. Well, Chief, we thank you for waking up with us, and we're going to be back with you a little bit later on. But obviously, yeah, this, a day like this, especially everyone coming forward, it's got to be good for you guys. Oh, it's, uh, this is a, a wonderful opportunity for the community to rally around. Uh, we've had, uh, we know of uh, 22 uh, displaced uh, living spaces, uninhabitable living spaces, affecting 58 people. And uh, we hope we have everyone. If we don't, we want to hear from you. But, uh, yeah, this is a, a very good thing for our community to come together now and try to move forward. All right. Well, thank you so much. We're going to hear more from the chief coming up a little bit later on. But as, as you can tell, the support in this community being felt Sun, Spurry's, Sun Prairie strong this morning, ladies. Can't think of a tougher day or a more impressive response. I love that. And thank you to the chief for all of his work. And thank you, Josh, for your reporting. The process of rebuilding downtown.